Hello, my name is Max Drake. I'd like to talk to you about room data sheets um, using Revit and the White, Foot, White Feet plugin. Um, so here we have a 3D model of a two-story building and I'm just going to jump straight into this tool here and go to views. Create views from rooms and um, I'm going to create uh, 3D rooms first of all. So I just call it 3D dash there. Um, it starts giving the room number and the room name as the coding and it has a prefix of the 3D. I'm going to do a 3D box and the space around the room that it slices because it does a, a section box is 0.2 of a meter here and the space around the room I've got is 0.5. Um, I've also got show the section box and uh, so you then just select them and you go create views it does a little greeny band there and you go close and you suddenly see that you've got all your 3D views there. Um, I, it does two odd things. This first one uh, for this 3D room, uh, if for some reason it sticks a roof on, so I've just got to pull it down so that, sorry, it's got the ceiling still on there. And on this particular one, uh, it's got a void in it. Um, so the level two floor area doesn't come out as far as level one. So if I just semi pull that, uh, you'll see, so the room one space extends up. So that's why it's gone right all the way up there rather than just showing it um, uh, just on, the, on the, the single level. So it's done a slight oddity there. And I just pull that down to there and we'll go view to there. And you'll see the lighting, you can see the stacks. And uh, we're still a bit high because we're still showing the ceilings through here. Um, I could do a couple of things there. We'll leave it at that point there. Now these are looking a little bit dull and they're looking a bit wiring and everything. So what I will actually do is just go into the views. We'll just go into a view template. And um, first thing we'll do is we'll take the scope boxes and we'll hide those in view. Uh, the second thing that we'll do is we'll, we'll just go and take the ceilings and we'll hide them in view just so that we have a bit of clearance. It's nice to actually see the lighting coming through there. And the other one is looking a little bit flat, so we'll actually just go in to make it shaded. Um, just to add a little bit of color to it. And there we have um, the view ready to go. Now we'll actually make a view template of that and we'll create a te view template just call it VT1 uh, we'll say. And we go OK and then we go OK on there and we can now go and select all of those ones there and apply a template. So we we'll just go into there and we we'll just go VT1 get a bit dodge and there we go apply and if we go and check another one out there it's got all of those things in there so that's very nice so we have the rooms there first of all now the other thing that we need to now do is actually just go back into the add-ins and in the tools we'll go back to that few ones we'll create some more ones and we'll actually just make the plan views and we'll call them rm uh, dash for the prefix to the room numbers and names. So we just go into there and just go one down to there and we go create views. It's creating the views. Bum, 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 bum. And we go close and it's created the rooms there. Then now we just go straight back into there again and we we'll go into the room, oops, view tools and we we'll just create some reflected ceiling plans. So we we'll create the reflected ceiling plans. Uh, there's ceiling plan dash there and that's the prefix and we'll just grab all of those and go yes please and it's gonna create them so yep yeah, so there we have the rooms and there's the plans oops it's ugly um, room plans swimming extents there it is and the other one and that is actually working off 
that general plan there that actually has the colors for the zones. I could actually specify this plan and it would then use that if I wanted to. That one's fine for me, it's just a demo. And the reflected ceiling plans coming through there. Now here we've actually got um, the reflected ceiling plan. Sorry, here we are down to the reflected ceiling plan for each of the rooms. I could actually go in there and actually tag those I'll just tag that sideways and tag that sideways. So if I go into the next room, I could tag all of those. Tag there and just tag them all. And those tags, maybe they're not the most appropriate size. You could redesign the tags and make them. I think I did another one with actually big letters just adjacent to the actual fitting so that you have those. So that's the tagging part. So those are my um, uh, floor plans that are set up that I have at the moment. So once I've got the floor plan set up, the next thing which I nearly need to do is the schedules. So I'm just going to go in and here's one that I've already done, but I'll just go in and, and edit that. And the first thing you do is actually just create a door schedule um, with all of the items that you want on your door schedule. And uh, there it is there. So on that one there, I'm just going to rename that one. Uh, uh, name and I'm just going to just call it doors and I'm just going to take all of those ones there and delete them all now what I can actually do is actually just duplicate the view as many times as I need so um, uh, I just duplicate for each room number um, so what I can do is I can rename that room one, room two, room three, whatever, or else I can just leave that as one and actually just go into there and we can filter those rooms by, um, the two room is what we actually use for this exercise here. So I'll actually say any doors going into room 01, I want on that schedule, the next one down. I'll actually say, and unfortunately we've got the other one open, so if I just go and open that one there, that filter now shows that. Now if I go into room two and go uh, filter, and we'll just edit those two room number equals um, 02, and then it will show me all of the doors going into there. So I can then do that with grills, with lighting, with plumbing and drainage, with windows, etc, etc. Whatever I want on my plans, I can actually do. The next thing that we do is that we can go into uh, uh, the room tools, sorry, the view tools, and we can add tags to existing views. Now, I'll just close this out very briefly and just show you um, the documentation. And we'll go into View Tool there, Display Document. It now opens that up there. Um, the way that he does it is that he ends up putting the view and he ends up putting some details down below. So this is his method of, um, sorry, that's the overview. And you'll see here's some schedules that he's done. Is it the last of the eight, seven, uh, six? So he's done sheets on this side and data on that side. Oh, he's bit, bit developed uh, his process of actually doing this. My demonstration is just saying, I'm just showing you that you can put uh, schedules um, and uh, uh, data on the same sheets. So I'm just gonna go into the view tools here again and I'm going to go add tags to existing views. Now, these only work for 2D plans. So anyway, that's why you have the prefix room so that it's not confused with a reflected ceiling plan. So here I've got room. We just reverse order just to see that the rooms are there. And uh, I created a tag um, called room tag two. Now, if I just go onto those, I can add the tag and it creates the tags close and if i go into room plan number one and um, just go zoom extent you'll see here i've got the tag that i created and it gives me the level the block the unit floor area perimeter ceiling area beautifully misspelled floor finishes and substrates ceiling finishes and substrates um, sanitary fittings qualities and stuff like that so if we go down to one of these later ones um zoom extent no there's no sanitary fittings on those where's one with sanitary fitting there we get distracted ah, might be one somewhere maybe i have got them on there um 
on my schedule. So what it does is you've now got the plan, you've now got the um, uh, room tag next to it. The other thing which you can do with this is that you can now, with the view tools, create sheets from views. So this is what we'll do. We'll actually use the room and we'll actually use a A3 title block and we'll just select all of those and go and shove them onto a room, please. Create sheet. So that now creates a very nice sheet for us all, which is marvellous. Um, now get back out of there. Um, so we go close into there and we go down and look on sheets. Sorry, further down again. And let's just take this one here as a demonstration. So on here, what's happened there? Um, there's my sheet. That's all sitting over the side there. So is it now on the sheet? Yeah, it is. Okay, then the other one that I can now do is that I can start dragging my window schedule across, which applies for that one. We just bang him there. Doesn't seem to have any. So we just go and click on him and say uh, edit filters. And we can say two new number, which is equal to 02. Okay, and uh, we can just get out of there. And so we've got the window schedule on there, um, plumbing schedule, lighting schedule. We can just drag that one across. We didn't want to do that. Go back. Mm, the mouse has gone a bit dry there. Um, uh, we can actually bring in, our, we've got our floor plan. We can then bring in our reflected ceiling plan uh, there where we could have put um, codes. Why is that so massive? Um, it seems to have a big scale on there. So let's just go in and see that. And I'll just make that one to 200, just to make it a bit smaller. Hmm. And then we just close that out. And that then fits onto there. Um, I could then go in and get my 3D view there and bring that in somewhere. Uh, there, I can then go in and get my door schedule, and I can't remember which one that one was. We'll bring that one there in, and so on and so forth. So therefore, you can actually just develop it up and uh, have all of the items that you need on the um, drawing to actually have your uh, room data sheet. So the room data sheet actually has a room name, it has the schedules of what you want, it has some data on that. Um, the, you could actually put the coding for all the um, uh, uh, elements in the ceilings that you have, the ceiling grills, etc, etc, etc. You can use your um, views uh, to actually tidy up your views to make them as simple or as colourful as what you need. The one thing that I, I think you'd still need is just some overall dimensions and a little scale on there just to give you some indications on some of that. This isn't the most prettiest one of the lot, but from a point of view of a workflow, capturing information that's already in there that you can then hand on to a client as a sort of a property book, which gives you an overview of all of the um, rooms on your property. I think this is a very, very handy tool. Anyway, I hope this has been of interest to you. Um, thank you very much for watching.